Hi guys, welcome back to another video and hello if you're new here, I hope you are well. Today I'm doing a hair kit must-haves video. So these are my absolute must-haves that I would have in my kit and in anyone's kit, um, whether you're starting out or whether you are already established in the industry, these are my absolute go-tos. First off, we're going to be talking about hair padding. Such a popular thing, I probably use this in 75% of my clients, um, I'll either use hair extensions or I'll use hair padding. Um, hair padding I offer completely free, whereas hair extensions, um, brides have to buy them off me. So hair padding is super popular um, because it's included in my services and it works absolute wonders for someone's hair. So it comes like this and you can buy them in buns from anywhere, you can buy them from Primark, you can buy them from Boots buy them online but Primark is the cheapest and that's where I get mine from. Um, I buy the biggest ones just because I unravel it and then cut it into squares so you cut the inner round here off and then you unravel it into like a big sock and it's like a meter and a half long and then I cut it into these little squares and then when I use it in bride's hair I sort of like turn it into a bun and it buns like that and then the hair goes round it and then you've got the extra thickness. So my first must have is hair padding because it adds so much thickness. You can cut these to whatever size you want. If someone's got really fine hair, I would cut this in half and just use sort of a smaller amount. Um, and what you do is you put it, you do your top layer of the bun where you've got your crown area like so and then you pin it here and then the bottom and the other hair wraps around it and then it basically gives you the illusion of a bigger bun um, it's hidden it's discreet but it looks like it's the bride's hair so it honestly it works dreams i've had clients with hair to here and i have literally made huge huge buns because i've wrapped this round and then the but the the client's hair just goes over it basically but because they've got this big bit underneath and then their hair just like wrapping from one side to the other it makes people think they've got this huge bun when they have them so this is an absolute staple i will not turn up to a wedding without this um like i say i pretty much put it on every client that is having an updo i've even put it on clients that are having half up half down um so where they have this crown bit here i have wrapped it round like so put it here and then when this hair goes over the top, it's got some padding to sit on and then you pin it into place and it's hidden. It is such a lifesaver in creating volume and texture for someone who's got literally no hair um, or very thin hair or very short hair. It works wonders. It's also great for even if a client has got thick hair and I don't need padding, I will just cut off the tiniest little bit at the top here bunch it up like so and then I will put it in the hair and use it just so that the pins can interlock into it so that they're not like right up against the nape because where your like your skull like and your neck goes in it gets really irritating if you're putting so many pins against that area of the scalp um you're also putting in like 20 30 40 pins so it doesn't give you a much leeway room to play around with and by having a little bit of this it just means they slide in super easy um they they sit in place and you've just got a lot more like room to fit like move around with rather than just keep gouging into people's scalp it's just yeah unless you're doing a style with minimal pins um if you're doing an updo there's going to be a lot of pins involved and it's just much more comfortable for a ride by using a tiny bit of padding even if they don't need it. So absolute must have is padding. I use it in pretty much every hairstyle, literally every hairstyle um, that is an updo unless the bride is blessed with an amazing amount of hair. My next absolute must have is this topsy tail or um, it's sometimes called a loop tool or a weaving tool. This was a pound from AliExpress. Um, you can get them off Amazon as well. But yeah, literally a pound off Amazon, AliExpress, eBay, you name it. Um, and it's just a little plastic tool. You get them in different shapes and sizes, um, different size loops. And what it is, is say I've got that bit of hair pinned up. I can then go through with my little loop tool, put this in it, 
no, I'm trying to do this on oh, my hair when it's not even up and it pins it it pulls it through can you see that's like hanging through and then that bit would be pinned so it just means you can like loop hair around I'll see if I've got a photo of um where I've done it or a video of where I've done it on a doll um but it's, it's such a handy tool for creating that really like effortless look like swoopy with some hair just like tussled and, and hanging through um it's just a really nice finish to the hair and it's super handy it's also good when you're doing half up half down and you're crisscrossing the bits at the back here when you're crisscrossing them over and you don't want them to be like pinned like that you can actually go behind one and have it loop behind um so it's really handy for that and it's so inexpensive it's such a good little tool next we are talking about products my three ride or die products i could literally style every hairstyle with just these three products um obviously needing hair tools but if i'm just using products i could easily just use these first we're going to talk about pump hairspray so this is the schwarzkopf silhouette pump spray very popular all of these products you will see so many hairstylists using they are literally a staple um, in anyone's hair kit this is a water um, pump spray so rather than a hairspray being an aerosol when you spray it it dries down it can be a bit tacky um, and if you try to go over the hair it will just turn into like hot glue it's just like a big hot mess it sizzles it smells bad it, it has that gluey like texture and the hair just won't recurl afterwards if you have to go back over it um, it's also got a bit of a crunchy feeling to it the difference with this is because it's a water pump spray uh, and a water formulation coming out of a spray lid it's very light and this is marketed um, as a workable hairspray so what it means is that you spray it in the hair it holds lightly um, but then if you were to brush it out or if you need to go back over it with heat it's not going to go into that weird sticky formula it's a completely different formula um, it's amazing um, when I do half up half downs I'll spray this on the curls to set them and then once I've done like my half up bit and if I've done a few tweaks and I've fluffed it about a bit and I think oh I need to go over this one strand you can go back over it if you even if you sprayed this over the whole thing it will just recurl it curls it beautifully it doesn't go dry it doesn't go like tacky like gluey it just feels like hair again it you can literally brush this out it is amazing um but it also has great hold once it's in the hair so that's why it's a workable hairspray um great for beginners because again if you mess up a piece of hair and you need to go back over it and curl it you can with this whereas normal hairspray if you ever have a a time where you need to go over something it's just not going to curl it's going to smell bad it's going to have this weird residue it's just not going to sit funny it's just sit well sorry it's just going to be really odd and not good a big big hot mess so this is an absolute staple it retails for i think it retails for something like eight pounds in the like salon services um trade store and yeah it's absolutely amazing you can get it off amazon as well but I'm pretty sure they charge a premium for having it on Amazon. Um, but of course, if you don't have trade discount, then Amazon's a great place to get hold of this. And I get through it so quickly because it's that amazing. Next, we are talking about the Osis Tame Wild, another great Schwarzkopf product. Um, they just have great products. You'll see that all three of these are actually from Schwarzkopf, but they have great products. This is a Tame Wild Smoothing Anti-Frizz Cream. I put a tiny little bit on the back of my hand. And what this is great for is if you're doing those lines in the hair or you're trying to create, when you like twist over the crown and you're trying to have it smooth, you can put a tiny little bit of this in the hair and it just makes the hair look smooth without having those lines in it. So you know if you spray hairspray on a piece of straight hair and then you put a comb over it and you get all those lines and it all sticks together in its own little lines and separates. This doesn't do that. It just, it looks so seamless and smooth. Um, obviously in moderation, if you put far too much on, it's gonna be greasy, but you just don't put too much on basically. Use a tiny little bit amount on the back of your hand, you dab it in your fingers like this and you work it in and then you use your fingers to apply it onto the hair. Um, you just can't go wrong with this. It's great. It's just the right consistency. I have used some like um, gum waxes and stuff like that, but they're too oily or they're too like sticky and thick. Um, this is just the right mixture. Um, 
absolute right mixture great price again it's around the same price as the Schwarzkopf silhouette spray at like eight pounds they all are sort of that price um and again you can get all of these on amazon if you don't have trade discount but this is great i also use this when i'm doing plaits whenever i'm doing a plait or a twist or a braid of any sort um i will take each strand of the plait and as i'm taking the strand i will put some on the back of each hand dab my thumb in it and then smooth it over that piece and then wrap the other piece around it and then i'll touch this thumb smooth that round and then wrap this round so it smooths down plaits and braids um and it that works so much better if you do a plait and then there's flyaways and you think oh i'll just put hairspray over it don't do it i, I just think it looks horrible um you but you're you're just sticking that fly away onto the top of the rest of the braid it's just going to lay on top rather than be intertwined and fed into it so this is great for smoothing out any flyaways um as you're plaiting and then it just looks seamless and smooth it just looks so good um so yeah 100 percent recommend this as my absolute must have and lastly is my osis dust it this is a mattifying volume powder for the roots this is absolutely great it comes in a little pot and you sort of just dust it out as if it's like salt <laughs> um it's it's talcum powder but in but dry shampoo but in a talcum powder form so you just apply this at the roots take your comb back comb it is it is like talcum powder mixed with hairspray it has got so much staying power literally you do any back combing it will not drop it will sit there for days it has so much lift to it um i also use this when i'm crimping because i don't back comb everyone's hair if someone's got finer hair i will not back comb it i just don't like the way that you get all these flyaways it just is more hassle than what it's worth trying to tidy up those flyaways so i will crimp hair if it's thin um but use this to give the crimp a little bit of texture so it works with that as well and gives it lift and i've not even had to back comb it um it's also good where if you're trying to do a ponytail and you want the the actual pony to be really fluffy then you can work through layers and just douse a little bit down the whole width of that hair and it will just give it texture and staying powder so it stays and it's so voluminous you can go in to curls with this once you've curled the whole hair like a half up half down you can think oh i'll just dust a little bit of this across the curls and it'll just fluff them out and keep them there it's just it's it's amazing it is absolutely amazing so that is my last ride or die product you could literally create any hairstyle and every hairstyle with these three products they are needed they are 100 percent needed my last ride or die product is a hair styling tool this is the mark hill hair styler mine needs a little bit of a clean ignore that please um but it is a interchangeable hair styler so you put your wand in it you lock it into place and then you've got your wand in there the reason this is my ride or die is because i think we all know that as hairstylists we have three four five different things that have a plug you have your hair dryer you have your crimper you have your curling wand then have another curling wand because you've got two sizes you've then got your straightener and i've got an extension lead but my extension lead fits four things in it um, if you've got another artist that is doing hair next to you there's obviously a limitation of plugs in the room plug sockets it's just handy to have one plug rather than 10 different things so i have two of these handles this is the standard handle so that when you're curling hair it's just the flat one i do have another plug this is the other plug i have and i'll just show you it's slightly wider but it turns like this so if i'm in a really confined space i can put my attachment in the end like so and it clips it in and if i'm like confined around here i can literally just wrap it around and have the wand like so like in front of me whereas this one if you're doing the front you kind of have to like put your arm really awkwardly and like do that so this one's just nice because i can do it from the front and wrap the hair around it so it's more just about angles and the space you've got but it's also handy to have two wands because i will have my big wand and my little wand 
both on because uh, different bridesmaids hair will want different finishes I also like to add several different curl types into my styles because I think that looks most natural um, so I will have both on for ease so that I can just go throughout the whole head and style it but also if I know I'm just using one size wand um, then I've got other ones that I can plug in and this is the most like and this is the reason why I love this because I can literally just have so many wands without the plug which I just think is a bit excessive like when you're having several plugs you've got all these different ones and you've got to plug a new one in and it's just it's just too much I just I just don't think it's great to be having so many plugs so I think it's super handy having a tool that has all the attachments I've got the small barrel I've then got the large barrel I've then got a wave barrel so you can see this is like an oval type one a bit similar to like what the this is very similar to the GHD one actually then I have a crimper handy super handy um, again crimp the root so I can just attach that and then even though I've got separate hair straightener they do have They've got an actual hair straightener attachment, but this is a curved straightener attachment. So it means that you can put the hair in it, curl it as if you're curling a curl. So you'll get the exact same curl as you will with this. However, it smooths the hair at the same time. So when you curl hair, you wrap it around the wand. And if someone's got really frizzy hair, um, typically I would have to go over the root with a straightener and then wrap it around the wand to get the actual curl finish because I don't like straight I don't like curling with a straightener sorry it's just not my my technique I much prefer using a wand um, which is fine they both techniques work great I'm just better with the wand but I do have to go over the root to smooth it or give it some lift whereas this one I can literally smooth out the hair and curl it at the same time so this is super handy I use this when I have like really frizzy hair that I need to tame because then I don't have to use my straightener and my curling wand at the same time um, I can just have one tool um, heated up so this is my last hair kit must have it doesn't I mean it doesn't have to be the Mark Hill one I love the Mark Hill one it's really inexpensive all the attachments are 15 pounds which is so cheap and the what the like the plug is 15 pounds as well so all of these I've got another two attachments which are like the waver ones and the chopstick ones um, they often do deals in boots for them so you can get lots of offers on them it's super inexpensive in terms of like buying several separate tools um, but I do know that there are some other brands that do them I think Foxy Locks does an interchangeable one um, around £100 mark for the whole set uh, you can get some off Amazon um, so yeah, it doesn't have to be this one, but something like this, of this style with the clip-ins, I think is a lifesaver. Um, it's just so handy for travel as well, because you're not carrying like five other plugs for all of these. The handles as well, it's just extra weight. Um, and we're all trying to save our backs out here, because this is a business where we carry it. Like my kit probably weighs, my makeup kit for sure weighs about 30kg. My hair kit is probably another 15 it's a lot that I've got on my back so any weight that I can spare I'm gonna do it because makeup artistry is not weightlifting I will save that for another day I don't need to be doing that daily up, up flights of stairs like we need to be, make sure that we are getting rid of as much weight as possible from our kit because it is back breaking literally back breaking um, so these are my last ride or die something like this would just be a game changer and it just means you can just keep buying the same and it's all from like the same brand it's easy it all just works with each other it's just it's just great absolutely great so those are my hair kit must-haves um let me know what your hair kit must-haves are um if any of these you use currently or if any of these you're going to pick up and give them a go let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe as always and i will see you in my next one bye guys